I've got a few balloons. Um, both of you grab a balloon, whichever one you want. Blow them up for me, blow them up, yeah. yeah. I'll blow, yeah. yeah. Perfect, perfect, excellent. All right, I'm time up. Time up, I'm really rubbish at this, but I should be able to. In a second, I'm gonna light that candle, and we're each gonna take a turn placing the balloon into the flame. If either of you can make that balloon last in the flame longer than I can, I'll buy you whatever you want off the menu and another round of drinks. Okay. But if you can't, you gotta buy me a meal. Is that fair? That sounds fair. Yes, Michael, I'm gonna take that answer, good. So, Michael, we'll start with you, place it into the flame, I'll time you, ready? When you go. Go, right in. It's about two seconds. It cost me a meal, probably. Not bad, well, we'll see, we'll see. Now, Jan, you get a chance as well, all right? Okay, Jan. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, I, don't, I didn't even have a chance to look at my watch. No, yeah. All right. So, for the meal and a drink, <laughs> I, I think I've clearly won that, guys. Yeah, but how did you do it? How can he do that? Because we blew the same balloon and we had to choose. My balloon was, uh, was over in, I think, a half a second. So <laughs> it was a split second. Boy, gone. So and Ben's lunchtime swindle works every time. In the flame. Oh. Um, I was shocked. I didn't expect my balloon to pop so quickly. Right in the flame. <laughs> so what was the secret to Ben's balloon? Ben took a sly swig of water before blowing it up. The heat from the candle passed through the balloon and into the water. Water has a high specific heat, meaning it takes a lot of energy to raise its temperature. As air has a much lower heat capacity, the flame burns through the rubber and the balloon bursts. Only after the water is heated up to boiling point will the flame start to burn the rubber of the balloon, meaning he can keep it there for much longer. <laughs> 